In this video, I'm gonna show you how to dramatically improve your prompts and prompt engineering process by extracting frameworks from books and testing them in your prompts. So let's dive right into it. So essentially what we're gonna do here is we're going to install different frameworks from books. So let's say we're trying to have our prompts produce better copy copy that is more effective, whether it's landing page copy, email sequences, social media posts, and helping us think through our writing process more clearly. This is something we can do. So we're going to extract the text from a book and turn it into frameworks, right? So the first thing you do is you grab the book on Amazon, you just buy the Kindle edition. Um, and then if you go here in your Amazon account and you go to, um, content and devices or content library you'll end up here and now if you buy the kindle you'll be able to take more actions and download and transfer via usb and then if you click download you'll be able to get the epub file so let me just do that right here now what you're going to do is you're going to go to um, an epub to text converter so we got ogilvy on advertising here you're going to go to an EPUB to text converter. Um, and then you're going to go to and grab the file. Wait till it downloads here. Once you download it, you're going to drop it into this converter. And actually, it's not an EPUB. I didn't realize that Amazon puts it into an AZW file. So you're actually gonna just type in AZW to TXT converter. You can go to cloudconvert.com and it will convert it. It'll click convert. And once you convert this, it'll get it into the right format. And so this um, technique actually only works for people based in the US because this is a um, thing that Google just released just for US people only in beta. And so you're gonna go to notebooklm.google.com Notebook LM is this new AI model where you can feed it massive amounts of documents. Um, and then as a result of those documents, you can like dialogue with those documents using AI. So you're going to create a new notebook. Once you come over to here to notebook LM, and then it's going to say you can upload sources. So we're going to upload a text file here. We're going to upload the, um, where is it? see if we downloaded it correctly from the last place all right it looks like it's still downloading actually so we'll give it a second and you're going to download it into a txt file and you're going to upload it into notebook lm um, so while we're waiting for that i'm just going to upload a, a different book that i have in a txt file um, so we're going to go add text file i'm going to use the boron letters here and once you upload the boron letters, it's going to add this as a source into your notebook LM database, which you can then dialogue to and extract insights from. So now that we have the boron letters in our notebook LM database, what we're going to do is we're going to say like extract the a key eight step framework for writing high quality copy and headlines and cater the output to writing hooks for LinkedIn. I'm not sure if this is going to work because, uh, because Gary Halbert was before the LinkedIn days. Um, but let's see what it gives us. Grab some coffee here. And then once you upload it, you can extract the frameworks by just asking the book, like, give me a five step framework from Gary Halbert of his copywriting process. Um, and it will give, it will extract it from the book. So you know that it's not just like some random copywriting framework that ChatGPT gives you. And as a result, you can just test out different people's copywriting frameworks by extracting them from text. So here is the framework from the Boron letters that I received. It said, identify your audience, identifying a starving crowd, 
You need to determine who you're writing for, interest, pains, needs, and pain points, find their problem, introduce your solution, highlight the benefit, call to action. So it almost looks like a, a landing page piece of copy. You can say like, here's the copywriting framework and like, let's test that. Um, another thing that we could do is we could test out um, something like, here's the instruction. Rather than saying using the copywriting framework below, what we could say is use the framework, copywriting framework below to think through each of these questions based on the target audience and um, topic above and write a one-liner headline after going through this the five step process so we're basically asking it to like take this process think through all of these points and then write the one liner using those points so maybe we should add that write a one liner headlining headline using the result of running through the five step framework below so let's see what what output it gives us here. And I'm running this through Claude Opus. So it said, all right, sometimes it like doesn't get the audience right. So sometimes I just go back and forth between Sonnet and Opus. Okay, so AI, how marketers can build AI systems to streamline marketing operations work. So after running through the copywriting framework, Here's a powerful hook. Unleash AI's power. Transform your marketing team into a lean, mean ROI machine. Not great. And so this is when you just run through iterations, right? So I'm just going to run through iterations. Um, unleash your marketing team's potential with AI. This is like really not good. Um, and so that's when we, we try different types of copy, right? So we say, rather than having it run through, we just say, use the framework below to create your copy make the output as specific clear and targeted as possible do not be clever so we're just trying to help it we're trying to say okay it looked like it was trying to be too clever it was trying to make it too funny too humorous we just want it to be as clear and concise as possible using this framework to understand the audience so let's see what happens now unleash the power of ai to 10x your marketing results while slashing busy work here's how i arrived at this five-step framework audience marketing so now it's like confusing the process and so this is what the process looks like to iterate on your prompts and um for example um, I'm going through a course right now called Ship 30 for 30 by uh, Dickie Bush and Nicholas Cole. Great course, by the way, basically having you write daily on LinkedIn. So basically what I've been doing is I've been pulling frameworks from that course and turning it into prompts, right? So I said, write me 10 headlines about topic, audience, outcome. Instructions, make the headline as clear as possible. Use the target reader in the headline. Use one of the frameworks below. Make the headline as precise and specific as possible. Include the outcome that the reader will achieve in the headline. Follow the framework below. Then I use the framework from their course. And then I get examples specifically from their course. As you can see, AI tools for newsletter creators to automate content creation and save 10 hours per week. It's a pretty solid headline. Five steps for creators to build an AI system that generates schedules and sends your newsletter on autopilot. It's also a pretty solid headline. You so you can see these. You're just trying to extract frameworks. So everything that you're coming across, if you're reading a book, if you're watching a YouTube video, if you're listening to a podcast in there, and if it's about let's say copywriting, or maybe you're reading it about real estate, and you want to extract like what is the core pain point of this audience, and that's what you add into the prompt, and you say like, how could I target this pain point? How could I write as clearly as possible this topic to this audience, to this outcome. Um, and as you're thinking through this, you're not only creating high quality prompts, but you're also learning why the prompts work because you're essentially understanding the frameworks of a successful output. So if it's copywriting, you have to understand what creates successful copy. And so the process that I go through here is that it's not necessarily that I 
am trying to automate this whole process like from the get-go. The automation only comes after the optimization. And so the first part is to optimize the outputs, right? So if I'm trying currently, well, as I'm writing LinkedIn posts, I'm using the frameworks from this course, Ship 30 for 30. I'm using the frameworks from the Boron letters, from all of these different Ogilvy on advertising, David Ogilvy. And I'm essentially trying to understand what makes good copy in this pro process of optimizing involves I'm just writing these posts and trying to figure out what works and why did it work. And this is not, um, these one shot prompts are not relevant in this process, although using AI to ideate and to optimize is. And so there's multiple different use cases for AI. Um, and I hope that this helps you understand like kind of what the process of prompt engineering actually looks like and feels like in an, on an in the weeds level.